This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. OK, we're still on Chapter 8, uh, which is accounting for overheads. In the last lecture, I went through uh, absorbing the overheads uh, and allocating and apportioning the overheads with more than one department. Uh, and if you look now at um, Example 4, there's a fuller exercise here of this allocating and apportioning, which we need to do before we can start getting the absorption rate. So have a look at example four with me. Uh, they've told us the production overhead costs for the period. There's a whole list there, rent, heat, supervisor, etc. So a total of 80,000 overheads. And we've three departments. We have a processing department, a packing department, and a canteen. And there's a bit of information below, cubic space, network value equipment, number of employees. Uh, and what we're asked to do here uh, is to allocate and apportion the overhead costs between the three departments. Uh, so we're not actually going to get an absorption rate, we don't have enough information. But is this allocating and apportioning? In example three, it was very easy, there were only two costs to deal with. Here, there's a, it's a bit more involved, it could take slightly longer. Uh, so let's go through. We're going to split the overheads. So what I'm going to do, I'll have a column for the total. Uh, and again, we have three overheads, uh, three departments rather. So I'll split it between processing, packing, and canteen. Uh, they're all departments in the factory, so processing is making, packing is packing. Uh, canteen uh, is to feed the workers. They're all departments in the factory. So let's go through one by one. First of all, the factory rent is 20,000. We want to split that between the three departments, and we're going to have to use that information we've given at the bottom. Uh, the cubic space... The uh, value of equipment, NBV is net book value. It's a bit unfair for me to type it here because it's a, a paper F3 term, but it simply means the value of the equipment uh, and the number of employees. Well, on that information, surely the most logical way of splitting the factory rent is to base it on the amount of space each department uses. And so how much space is there in total? There's 50,000 for processing, another 25 in packing, another five in canteen, so a total of uh, 80,000. And so we'll split the rent on that basis. There's 80,000 in total. Processing is 50,000 out of 80, so we'll take 50 eightieths. And 50 eightieths of 20,000 is 12,500. Uh, packing. 25,000 out of 80, it's going to be what, uh, 6 to 50. And finally, canteen, 5,000 out of 80, which is going to be, I can write in my head, 12.50. And so that's how we'll split them. Does it add up? 12,500 plus 6 to 50 plus 12.50. Uh, yes, it does 20,000. Uh, what about factory heat? Well, in real life, there might be better ways of splitting, but on the information we're given, uh, surely uh, the only sensible one of those three at the bottom is again to do it on cubic space. So there's 5,000 in total, but to do it on the space as before, so 50 eightieths to processing, 25 eightieths to packing, 5 eightieths to canteen. So what does this come to? 50 eightieths of 5,000 is 3125. 25 eightieths is 1563. In this sort of exercise, do it to the nearest dollar. Uh, 5 eightieths is 312. We're not worried about a dollar rounding either way. Uh, those two, we were apportioning, we were sharing the uh, rent and the heat, uh, in this case based on the space. 
And the next one are the supervisors. Well, we've two. The processing department supervisor is 15,000. And here, surely, it's not a question of sharing it. That's a supervisor in processing, so we'll put it straight to processing. We're allocating the overhead. And similarly, 10,000 for the, what is it, packing department supervisor. Fine, we'll go straight to packing. Uh, depreciation of equipment. Although it's paper F3, I think you should have heard of depreciation. <clears throat> um, the 7,000 in total. And again, the only sensible way of splitting it based on the information we give them is on the value of the equipment. Uh, and the value of the equipment, well, there's 300 in processing, 300 in packing, 100 in canteen. So a total of 700,000. Processing is 300 out of the 700. So... We'll give that proportion to uh, processing, similar to packing, 300,000 out of 700, and to canteen, 100,000 out of 700. So, of course, that divides nicely uh, to processing, 3,000, packing, 3,000, canteen, 1,000. Uh, next one, canteen expenses. 18,000. Ah, this one we can allocate. It asked us to split between the three departments. Canteen is one of the departments. And so 18,000 straight to the canteen. And finally, welfare costs. I don't know, maybe these are health expenses or maybe they can have free haircuts or something. Uh, but welfare costs 5,000. It's the welfare of employees, and so, again, of the three uh, choices available, surely the obvious way of uh, splitting it is based on the number of employees. Now, there are 50, 40, 10, so a total of 100 employees. 50 are in processing, so it could be that proportion, 50 out of 100. 40 out of 100 in packing, 10 out of 100 in canteen. And so how does that split? 50 hundredths is 2 five hundred. 40 hundredths is 2,000. 10 hundredths is 500. And so, I don't think too much of a problem there, but now let's um, total them. The total of all, oh, just let me double check up. It works, so 20, 25, uh, 50, 57, 62, it is 80,000. And how does it split? To processing, 12,500, 3,125, 15,000, 3,000, 2,500. I think 36,125. Uh, to packing, 22813 uh, and to canteen 21062 and I'd better check the add up uh, 36125 22813 21062 yeah it is 80,000 uh, so lovely. I mean, that takes a bit of time, obviously, when it's only a two-mark question in the exam. So I doubt it would be that long. Uh, but also in the exam, instead of wanting the total for all three, they could give you a slightly shorter version of example four, perhaps only with three of the overheads, uh, but just ask you, uh, oh, what's the total for processing? And so... You know, you don't need to waste time doing all the packing and canteen and adding up. Uh, they'd just be out of that figure. Anyway, before I leave this one, just one more thing. Although example four is finished, it wanted uh, us to split the overhead between the three departments. Remember from what we did in the previous lecture, uh, that in real life, you'd then be carrying on and working out an absorption rate, a cost per hour. 
However, when we come to work out the absorption, if you think of that last example where there was assembly and finishing departments, to absorb the overhead, we only need, or what we need rather, is the overhead in the actual production departments. And in this example, processing and packing, they're involved in actually producing units. But of course, the canteen isn't producing anything at all. The canteen is an overhead of production. The canteen's there to feed the workers. So it's an overhead of the production. But again, the canteen department isn't actually producing anything. The first two are production departments. The canteen is what we call a service department. It's providing a service to the production departments. It's feeding their workers. Uh, other examples you might see are maintenance. If I can squeeze it in. Or repairs. Where you've got a department incurring overheads, which again isn't actually producing anything, but is serving the production departments. They're maintaining or they're repairing the machines. Uh, and so, although we finished example four, what we carry on and do when we've got a service department is we then recharge the production departments. Look at example five. It says reapportion the canteen costs to the production cost centres. So we know how much in total we're spending on the canteen, 21,062. But again, the canteen is doing work for the production department, for processing and packing. And so we take that 21,062 and we recharge or we charge it to the other, the production departments. So we'll take that 21,062 and we'll charge a bit of it to production, a bit of it to packing. And if you look back at example four, what would be the um, most sensible way of recharging the other departments? Surely, since it's the canteen and it's feeding the workers, I think the most sensible way of charging it uh, to processing packing would be based on the number of workers. And so look back at example four, how many workers are there uh, in the production departments? There's 50 in processing, 40 in packing. So 90 workers. And therefore, we'll charge them on that basis. Production has 50 out of 90. Uh, uh, sorry, processing has 50 out of 90. Packing has 40 out of 90. And so how will we recharge? 50 out of 90 times 21.062 is 11.701. 40 out of 90 times 21.062 is 9.361. And does it add up? 11.701, 9.361. I guess it does. And so, what do we end up with? The total overhead for the production departments uh, to processing 47826 uh, and to packing 32174 and of course that should give us in total 80,000 and it does now we'll stop there, but uh, remember having done that, think back to example two, even though maybe a while ago. Uh, but if we have the information, we now look to see how many hours there were in each department. And we could work out an absorption rate for each of the production departments. And then we could go and do the cost parts for whatever it is we're producing. Okay, so I think that 
I don't think that's too bad. However, there is one more problem, which will take me a, a while, and so again, I'll break the lecture and show you in the next lecture. But one more problem that can be is when with more than one service department. You'll see in the next lecture. It can be a little bit of fun trying to sort it out. But I hope that one's clear there. We split overheads between all our departments. If there's a service department like the canteen, once we've got the total, we then recharge it to the production departments. Anyway, as I say, I'll stop that lecture here. In the next lecture, the last lecture on this chapter, we'll deal with service departments, but where it's a little bit more exciting.